Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and it's Friday. Time for another Friday News Recap. I brought this idea back last week. It's an idea I've had uh, throughout the years. And what I do is I recap the news, I recap our YouTube videos, and I kind of give you some updates in a channel. It seems like this is something that viewers like. And we're also doing a raffle giveaway because I have too much stuff. Stuff and stuff and stuff. And so we're going to give away a winner from last week's raffle, and then we'll do this week's raffle. For more prizes and uh, by the way i found some uh marimoto lights as well led lights i'm gonna throw into the prize pack probably around uh get towards christmas we'll do some big giveaways right now I'll do some small stuff but then we'll big giveaway so um if you listen to podcasts i'm gonna download this for a podcast we try to do live streams once a week jill and i but we're not always around like this week i was in las vegas and last and she was also in spain kind of hard to get time zones work right for that i want to give a special shout out to get too far in this video to Ameripat. Ameripat commented on last week's video and said, you need to look, he says, Tim, you need to view your videos on a large screen or a TV and see how blurry they are. And he was right. I put it on a big screen. I was like, oh, it looks terrible. And it turns out technology has improved to the point where you're watching me right now on my iPhone. Yeah, iPhone actually can be mounted uh, wirelessly to your computer, and then you can stream from that. So tell, let me know in the comments, is the quality better? I think it is, and the little testing I've done, but you put comments down below. I've been, I was playing around with webcams, didn't really work out very well. There's some latency issues with the software I use, but this seems like it may be the ticket. So put your comments down below. So, and also before we get too far down the road, special thank you, everybody. 100,000 subscribers reached this week. That's a huge milestone. I never thought it was actually possible. I had no idea when I started this channel it would be going this direction, and I'm really happy with it. I love the community we have. I love what I'm doing, and it seems like it works well for the family, and everything's going great. So, but uh, yeah, but wow, that was a big day. So uh, it happened on Sunday, and I'll give you a little bit of a behind the scenes on this, is that uh, we knew it was happening. My friend David Boyd was kind of messaging me early in the week, kind of getting me excited. And I was like, I was busy with some website stuff we have going on and some work stuff going on. So I didn't really get excited, but on Sunday, the subscribers started going. I made some messages on social media. People started subscribing immediately, and we saw huge subscriber growth. And so Jill and I are like messaging each other screenshots. Hey, we need two more. Hey, we need one more. Hey, we need. And then it was just kind of happened, and it just was, wow. So thank you, because that means a lot to me. That a hundred thousand of you hit the button to subscribe. That's crazy. And thank you to like our members. We have, uh, I think we have a dozen members now who are giving a couple bucks a month to the channel. It's fantastic. I really do appreciate that as well. Okay, so let's go to the news recap. This were made the camera a little, little funky. I gotta look down the computer to be able to look up at the thing. Yeah. Anyways, so let's get news recap before I get too much further. Uh, oh, I was on I was on the website looking around to see what happened. What did happen this week? Again, three days in Vegas, and my head was like, oh my gosh, all this stuff going on. So uh, on the website, pickuptrucktalk.com, we have a couple details right on top of the screen. We have the street trucks are back. If you missed it, the Toyota to, to, Toyota Tacoma X Runner was revealed at SEMA. It's pretty badass. And here's the deal. Your feedback could make this truck happen. So if you really like it, tag Toy Toyota and social media or respond back to comments, do something. And Toyota will read those comments and they get more, as much fan interaction as they can. If a lot of fans want it, they will build it. I also have the story about the engineering winning the battle for tow hooks over the prior versus the 2024 Tacoma versus the Tundra Sequoia Hilux and Grand, uh, 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 Land Cruiser. And I want to say Grand Highlander, but no, it was Land Cruiser. And that was really interesting. It was just kind of a, a conversation I had with Chief Engineer Sheldon Brown, because I was curious if the Tundra didn't get tow hooks, and they did Sequoia because it was a safety reason, why did the Tacoma get tow hooks? And so he kind of laid it out. It's really good information. Uh, it's really, well, it's stuff I find interesting. Uh, we have the Ford Bronco in the city. That was Jill had that. That was the Raptor. Or was it? Yeah, Bronco Raptor in the city. Kind of a hilarious take. And try and drive it around, get through Walgreens as a fit kind of deal. And then we have the UAW and the GM agrees to tentative agreement for ongoing labor strike. I covered that strike quite a bit in this channel. Some stuff I got right, some stuff I didn't get wrong. I got wrong. It's how journalism goes. And but I feel like it's it's great now because I big sigh of relief. And I'm going to do update videos later on when we get more finalized details on those agreements. And then I have the 2023 Chevy Colorado. That's the one I kind of well I was a little snarky with. I was like, do you guys actually like this? Or your, your comments make sense? You know, what are you guys saying on this? So let's talk about that. And that, I thought it was pretty good. We went through that, went through those, those questions you guys had. So uh, check that one out as well. I want to make sure I'm looking through the web website, make sure I'm not missing anything. And no, I'm not. So let's go to news real fast, make sure we cover all that because some stuff doesn't show up on the homepage because we, we publish a lot. <laughs> we published a lot. 
Oh, and we this is that was the, the thing I was talk about. The midsize Ram truck is confirmed thanks to the UAW. This is crazy. During a UAW's Facebook Live discussing the details and agreement to end the strike with Slantis, they said, Oh, yeah, we're gonna reopen Belvedere, Illinois, give 5,000 jobs back to the community, and they're gonna build a new midsize truck. Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, I literally was watching that video going, Pause, and I, I like, I was like, okay, come to the office, do a video right away or do a story right away. So uh, that's what happened with that. And the rest of the news is there. So let's go ahead and go to YouTube. Um, and then we'll check out our channel. No, I don't want to go to that one. I'm going to go to view your channel. Okay. okay. Autoplay video. So what happened this week on YouTube? So we have the Toyota Waz at SEMA. And unfortunately, let me explain this a little bit. Um, there was an audio issue. So I was using my iPhone with a Rode wireless mic. I had used that in years prior and I had ordered new cables, so new wiring. Um, I had lost it when I travel. So I ordered a new one, had all set it ready to go. And then, so what I did was I shot this video and the Lexus video here, both at night. So we got early access Monday night to go to the Toyota booth by itself. We couldn't walk the floor, just Toyota booth by itself at SEMA, Toyota and Lexus booth. We had walk rounds and then I was able to shoot video that night and we went back to had dinner and drinks, that kind of stuff. And the next day at seven in the morning, I published those videos before SEMA opened. So I didn't realize there was a little distortion in that audio at all. I'd never even looked at them because I was busy shooting because we had a, a period of time, like I was like 20, 25 minutes only to shoot. So and you got to imagine uh, Joe Rady was there. Andre was there from TFL. Um, TRD John was there. Toyota Jeff was there. Um, who else was there with shooting? But there was a variety of us shooting video all at once. So we had to really work together to make sure everybody's video got done. Nobody's stopping each other's viewpoint and, and their lines and such. So, uh, yeah, that was a little frustrating. Uh, I apologize for the audio issues on that one. It happens. So that's unfortunate. So we had the Toyota wowing with SEMA because I'm telling you the x runner was really big wow. The simulator is pretty damn cool. The seat looks pretty amazing. I wanted to check it out, but it wasn't feeling great on my back and things. So I, I didn't want to try it. <laughs> I'm going to try it out in a couple weeks. Uh, and then we have the Lexus SUVs. Uh, those are pretty highly modified. They look pretty cool. Uh, Lexus does a good job when it got that kind of stuff. And then I have a Mercedes-Benz GLC um, video up, which is interesting. I've gotten a lot of some feedback. I, it's a pretty negative review. I didn't really like it at all. And uh, interesting feedback I'm getting from folks who can't make it through the video because apparently I'm just too negative, which is unfortunate. I'm probably a little bit too unfair on that. It probably is a better SUV, but I just had so many problems with it. I just I was very frustrated about it. Um, we had the UAW strike, and then we had the uh, the 2024 GMC Sierra AT4X. Now, that's the new one with the Duramax diesel. Interesting in that video, if you watch that one, the steel bumper. Midway through the 2023 model year, they made the AEV steel bumper standard equipment on that truck, just because. Yeah, kind of strange. Um, we had more UAW stuff, and then we had the the Sierra Grande AEV, and then we had truck news re recap from last week. The other thing I did a lot, though, is I did a bunch of shorts. I don't know if it shows up here. Shorts. So this was a behind-the-scenes kind of idea for you guys. Um, SEMA is notoriously hard to shoot because there's usually a lot of people and a lot of noise and music playing. And it's just difficult. And so I decided to do this year at SEMA was just do a bunch of YouTube shorts. I also put them on our TikTok channel and our Instagram page as well. I probably screwed myself. I probably should have made some of these, like the Toehook thing. I probably could have made that a bigger video. I kind of made the Maverick maybe a different – or the um, – uh, Ranger, a different, bigger video. I see it says Maverick there. It's funny. I'll cut that word out. Um, it made more money. Shorts typically don't pay that well at all. But I just felt like it's easier to get information out to you guys quicker. And it seemed as such a, again, cluster of people walking around. I just thought that may work out better. So I don't know. You Give me feedback down below. I don't know if that worked out. It was a good idea on my part or a bad idea. Sometimes you roll a dice as a, as a YouTube creator and as a journalist to see what the information you get out faster and how it meets the audience and what you want to see. I also had a pretty cool dinner with Mr. Rutledge Wood. Um, he was kind of cool. So we had dinner that, that this night after Monday night after we shot the stuff at SEMA. And then he sat down next to me at dinner. He was there because that FJ Bruiser that you guys had seen in this YouTube short, he actually, um, he said that he had that in his garage for a while. He actually was driving it around. And so it's pretty interesting. And again, that, Bruce, that FJ Bruiser, I probably could have done a whole walk around on it. Uh, it's tube chassis. It's got a tank track underneath of it. It's got the uh, NASCAR Cup engine in it. It's a really wild concept. And so that's a pretty cool thing. So uh, that's kind of what happened this week, kind of the update, what's going on this week. 
as far as news recap and as far as the video recaps and as far as the information for the camera and 100,000 subscribers. So let's go ahead and go to the giveaway. So this is the back end. This is where you use WordPress all the time. And I downloaded this new software called RafflePress. So I've never done this before. I'm filming this live right now. I've never done this before. But what I saw was we had 42 users who had entered 244 entries. And so I set up the um, raffle so that you can get multiple entries per user. Now, some people aren't on Facebook. Some people are on Twitter because sometimes you got to click the button if you follow us there. I apologize for that. This is the fairest way I can make it to get the most well, bang for my buck, too. I'm, I'm trying to create more of a following on different platforms, too. So um, let's let's go ahead and go to the winners. So let's click this button here. Winner selection. So we want one winner selected. And we're going to choose our winners now. I'm going to let unverified emails work. I'm not sure what that, that means. So the winner, there we go, is uh, John. John. Jonathan, Jonathan, I will be sending you, I, I think they can send you an email, actually. The system will send you an email, and you won, and I will show you a picture, or you can tell me what you want, a hat or whatever, and then we can go ahead and get that shipped out to you. So, yes, congratulations, Jonathan. You won the first ever giveaway of this raffle press, of raffle. <laughs> it's new to me, too. Uh, if we go to raffle, though, we should see the new giveaway is updated. That giveaway is ended. Let's see if the new one is going to be updated. Okay, I'm back. I figured out the issue with that, and I made that work again. So if you go to the website, click on raffle, it should open up November 3rd raffle, which is today. So that is ongoing right now for six days. It should be working on mobile as well. Let me know if it doesn't. And you guys should all be set for the next week's raffle. The keyword this week is frontier. And I wrote that with a capital F if it matters. I'm not sure if it does. But frontier is your keyword. And again, more stuff to give away. Keep uh, keep following the channel. Keep liking stuff. Keep uh, watching videos. I'm going to keep giving this stuff away until I run low enough. I don't need to give it away. And then we'll find something else to give away. And again, later on this year, I'll do a bigger giveaway with a one massive one. And we'll get rid of, we'll pick, maybe pick three or four winners that week. And we'll get rid of even more of the stuff that's in my office. So that's what I have for you this week with the Friday news recap. I hope the video quality was a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's news recap. And make sure you check it again, more videos going on. Check out those videos that you saw there. I recapped if you didn't see them before. Good stuff on there. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.